old school RuneScape. My first time playing this game was back in 2005. And over the years since, I've sunk countless hours into the game across a half dozen characters. In all that time, there's always been one achievement I wanted to get. The quest point cape. To get it, you need to complete every quest in the game. And I knew I would need some help if I was going to reach that goal. So, I recruited my brother, another lifelong RuneScape player, and together we set out to get ourselves a cape. But we couldn't make this too easy, so we're playing with two restrictions. One, we're playing as group Iron Men characters. That means no trading with other players, even through the Grand Exchange market. Two, we're following the checklist put out by the people on the old school RuneScape wiki, so everything will be done at the lowest level possible, no matter how hard that may be. With that in mind, I'm Just Graham. Join me as our quest for the cape begins. Alright, I think we have everything up and running the way we need it. Hooray! I sure hope so, anyway. You and me both. <laughs> our journey begins on Tutorial Island. Fortunately for us, we both played enough of this game to have mastered the basics. You'll be told how to... <laughs> I clicked on it because I was like, yeah, I just made a weapon. I'll just I'll just put it in my hand. You'll be told how to wield it. Yeah, I know yeah. how to wield a pointy end goes in enemy. With the rest of the basics done, we make our Iron Man group. What do we want to name our group? Definitely Graham. Too many characters. Can we just do Graham, question mark? Can't do a question mark. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, I'm trying to keep it in that, that range. Just Graham, not Graham. It is Graham. Done. And finally, head through the portal to Lumbridge to properly start our adventure. All right, tree chopping. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is tree chopping time. The first thing on our checklist is to cut down trees until we get enough experience for level twelve woodcutting. This will allow us to start using the canoe system for fast travel on the local river. Which I'm sure is a thing we will always remember to do. Of course, that means a lot of... ...going on for the next eternity. So, just fill that part in mentally as we check off the first few items on our checklist. Oh wait, no, it's a pair of leather gloves over here, isn't it? Or, mind rune? Oh no, there is a knife. Oh, a... tell me where that... where is that? Uh, kitchen. Gotcha. I'll I'll give it a little bit to respawn, and then I'll go grab it. Yeah, I figure we're best off dumping most of the experience from cutting this stuff up into uh, <laughs> into fletching because that's always How one of the. Dare you say that word? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that imp exists pure. Like the the reason that imp is allowed to live in my presence is only because of that quest programming. Yeah, because uh, on my other character, I was just sitting there like, oh yeah, I could just, you know, kill the imps while I'm going about my daily business. And then I looked it up and was like, no, this actually doesn't, uh, doesn't do anything until, <laughs> uh, doesn't do anything until you start imp catcher. I will suffer no imp to live. Hey, Graham. Oh. I got a clue scroll nest. <laughs> It knows. It knows you're back. <laughs> yeah, it remembers me. Please, quick, give him a clue scroll before he depopulates all of the guards. Next, we offer to help the cook get a cake together for the Duke's birthday. Nothing will go wrong with this. Nope. Oh, and I'm going to mark off nope. that we have 12 wood cutting on the... What are you to do? You're a cook, why don't you bake me a cake? You're a tree, why don't you give me an apple? 
Speaking of which, Cook, I have a lovely apple for this. <laughs> no. Bad. Murder. Alright, I'm gonna pick up the pot. Uh, I guess I will take a knife, because it's literally just something we don't have to pay for. Wait, the I have to grab the bowl, right? Uh, no, we need a second bucket from the general store. Mm. Uh, we're also going to want a mostly empty inventory for this. So I would probably just bring the pot. Grab, pot yeah, one pot, bucket. Uh, one bucket, and I like don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember how many coins a bucket is. And for some reason, I <laughs> didn't grab forgot to grab my shield. Oops. If you die for it, I'm going to laugh at you. If I die to a chicken, I'm going to laugh at me, too. <laughs> oh, well, now that has to happen. I hope you understand this. Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the other things. Um, That's a little unfortunate. I forgot the egg just spawns on the ground. So, yeah. There it is. Nice. Cool. Yeah, there are a couple times where the checklist is like, oh yeah, pick this item up off the ground, and I'm sitting there like, that's gonna be a little awkward with two people. <laughs> Shall I grab those shears while we're here? Uh, yes, because while we're here, we also need to start a uh, sheep shearer. Yep. So, take feathers, take the chicken. I'm gonna bury the bones. It's marginal, but it'll... I'm gonna it'll bury work. the bones in the house, because of course... And then, uh, while we're in the area, we decide to start the sheep shearer quest, where the farmer tasks us with gathering him 20 balls of wool, and... Hey, wait a second. That's not a sheep. Look, I understand they wanted to go for a bit of <laughs> realism, but... Cat is insisting they are friend-shaped. They are extremely friend-shaped, but they are also evil. <laughs> These are not mutually exclusive. That's fair. Yeah, I've played enough Monster Hunter to, <laughs> to get that. Yeah. Time to murder a cow. I am sorry, cow. Yeah, all of the cows you're killing to get milk. Oh, you actually are killing a cow, are you, aren't you? Why are you killing a cow? <laughs> uh, because we need... So, uh, this is where we get the, uh, the beef for druidic ritual. How am I supposed to have inventory space for all of this? Uh, well, you should have five feathers. Uh-huh. Raw chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, egg. Mm-hmm. Flour. Mm-hmm. Shears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and then two buckets. It's my money. My money's in the way. Yeah, I had to drop mine. Oh, I picked yours. I was like, ooh, th free money. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was mine. <laughs> you gonna be okay over there, Grim? I'm fine. I'm just annoyed that I accidentally attacked another ram. <laughs> they're not they're not imps, Connor. They must die nonetheless. Nope. nope. I hate leaving behind a cow hide, but I I need I need the beef. With wool and cake supplies in hand, we head on back to the castle. Along the way, we stop and talk to Vios to start a different quest. He seems pretty trustworthy. And with that done, we're able to take the supplies back to the chef and make sure everything is good for the Duke's birthday. Which, of course, we are not invited to. Next, we run upstairs to spin the balls of wool that we need for the quest. Uh, we also talk to the Duke about a little problem he's been having. And then run to the general store to pick up two spades. <laughs> uh, I hit the wrong button. Oh no. I have three spades now. No! <laughs> I will never financially recover from this. Yes. Ah. A trade. I don't know, Graham. You're giving me 113 coins worth of spade. I paid three for that. That is not 113 coins. All right, let's read this treasure scroll within the... Oh, you're just gonna... <laughs> I think this is a rune light thing. Because <laughs> as soon as I read the treasure scroll, it was immediately highlighted on my map. 
Oh, I love that. <laughs> I don't... So, look, I... Then the town of Lumbridge lives a man named Bob. He walks out of his door, takes one step east, seven north, five steps west, one south. It works with map clues, too. <laughs> Does that feel too much like cheating, or are we okay with this? I'm fine with it. Good, Listen, because I... Every single clue scroll I've ever done, I've had to look those up. Yeah, I I have done enough clue scrolls that I never want to have to try to do one again. Oh yeah, if you if you weren't aware, Gnome Delivery is in this, uh, this version of the game as well. How dare you tell me that? <laughs> After following the few clues for X marks the spot, we talk to a priest about his ghost problem, and finally head down a little south of there to begin what turned out to be an extended Scream 4 parody. I didn't realize anybody else had actually seen that movie. Wait a second. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, yeah. is this just Scream? Uh-huh. <laughs> I... <laughs> is, is this just a community play or something? I think it might be. <laughs> Gosh, that was so horrible and drawn out. Oh no. Oh wow, he's still going. <laughs> that was suspicion. Graham, do you see what's in the kitchen? Incredible. <laughs> Do you like this? Really, is just somebody was watching Scream and was like, "Yes, mm. this as a quest." How do they know our name? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the game. Do you like quests? <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> oh, Gothics, please, no! <laughs> you like scary quests. Mm -hmm. you like horror movies? <laughs> Wait a second, is this lady really a failed adventurer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so actually this is Scream 4. <laughs> After a whole lot of nonsense, the killer is defeated, and we head back to the mainland to take care of the last couple of quests that we picked up. We're gonna walk over here, and really have to wonder why the wizard's tower has an aggressive skeleton in its basement. Oh no, you have to talk to the ghost, really? Oh, that's not, not a big deal. So... Well, that was a bust, but, you know, at least while we're there, we can turn in X marks the spot. He's at the dock south of Lumbridge. He's Why docked at the northernmost pier in Port Sarum. Okay. <laughs> uh, in that case, we're going to go talk to the ghost, and then just, just say that's enough for now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Within the context of the Wizard's Tower, I really want to know why... Why they took this poor man's skull. Yeah, they're a bunch of Ceredomonist wizards. Why are you grave robbing? And on that note, the first leg of our very long adventure comes to an end. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you want to catch us live, we're on Twitch every Monday at about 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, otherwise, you can catch edited videos here every Wednesday. Anyway. I hope you have a great day, and I will catch you in the next one.